All right, so this is about uh, template classes. So just like we can uh, template a function, we can actually template an entire class. Um, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, we use the keyword template. And we, uh, we use class T. And again, it doesn't have to be T. It can be whatever we choose. Uh, but most common use is T. And then right up below that, we declare our class as normal. Uh, so let's say I was doing a template class. Let's just use our node, for example. All right, and so uh, inside our node, we, have, we can have our public variables. Um, which would pretty much be our member function. So we, we can have our constructor node. Um, and we can have, um, let's see, uh, get data. All right, uh, maybe we want to do a get next so we can get the next pointer. Right, and then inside our private members, we are going to now start using our class. And so since our class is a template class, then we have to say what the data type is. And so we do that by using the brackets. And so since this is still in the template class, we're just going to say this is going to return a node T star. I'm sorry, we're declaring this as a node T star, and that's going to be next, right? That's a pointer that is pointing to this particular class. Uh, and of course, if we wanted to do previous, we could do the same thing for previous in our node. All right, so then this is going to be our class declaration for template. Then when it's time to actually implement these uh, functions, we would also need to use template. So I'm going to put a template here, template class T. All right, and since uh, my node constructor is actually a node type T, right, and then the constructor is actually called node. Right, this is our class scope resolution. Since our class is a template class, we do have to put in the uh, template. Uh, sorry, this actually would be the declaration. All right, uh, if we wanted to implement our get next, we would say template class T. And since our class is a template our scope resolution is a template so we would say temp excuse me uh, <clears throat> no t is excuse me no t's pointer is going to be our return value then we use our class uh, scope resolution no t and then we'll put our function get next and then of course in that function all we do is just uh return next all right so uh, that's the key points that we want to know uh, right now your uh, the secret word is going to be uh, picture picture is the uh, secret word and I uh, just want to go over exactly what we were talked about in this video again um, we talked about template classes and uh, you have to use the uh, template keyword with the braces and class T. Uh, you also want to make sure that when you are referring to that class, if it's inside your declaration or inside of your class declaration or definitions, we want to refer to it as the name of the class and then also put in the braces uh, with T. Right, so that's what our class scope resolution looks like. Uh, that would be what our return values would look like, uh, etc. So just make sure that you use the templates in the correct places. All right, and so then what, what this actually does is this now allows us to create a new 
variable, right? So if I'm inside my main, and inside my main, I wanted to create a variable node, I can say node, and then I'm going to pass in whatever value I want node to actually hold, right? So in this case, let's say character, right? If this is going to be a node character pointer, then I can just uh, declare it that way. Now, if I actually wanted to have a node integer pointer, I can do use the same exact class definition and declaration, but instead now I'm going to pass in an integer. And now this node will hold integer as its data. And I think I forgot to put data in here. We do want to have something here, T data. Right? T data will actually be the type of data that this node can actually hold. All right, and so now uh, that is pretty much how we use a template class.